Nora pulled her weathered duster tighter against the harsh winds as she picked her way through the rubble-strewn alley. The cracked facades of the dead city towers leaned precariously overhead, their vacant eyes seeming to follow her progress. Nora glimpsed her distorted reflection in a broken window and paused. Staring back was a hardened woman, not the wide-eyed explorer who had first ventured beyond the village gates. But her purpose remained unchanged. She would uncover the secrets of the past or die trying. Any radio chatter on the old frequencies, Riga? She spoke into her headset. Negative contact, her mentor's voice crackled through. But these ruins still have a few surprises left. Stay sharp. Nora nodded, tapping the sensor band on her wrist. The gamma levels spiked slightly near the crumbling walls ahead. Gripping her plasma rifle, she climbed through a collapsed section dotted with fragments of charred bone. A massive vault door lay canted against the alley's end, half exposed to the elements. Nora caught her breath. Kneeling down, she reverently brushed dust from the door's surface, revealing unfamiliar technical schematics and warnings in red pictograms fading to rust. Nora's pulse quickened as she traced the intricate mechanisms. What wonders and horrors from that lost civilization lay beyond this portal? She leaned into the door with her shoulder, the metal creaking open reluctantly. Cool, stale air rushed out and Nora coughed as decades of accumulated dust expelled into the alleyway. She squeezed through the narrow gap, blinking against the darkness within. Rows of strange machines filled the chamber, screens flickering in her presence as if waking from slumber. Hello, old world, Nora murmured, trailing her fingers over one device feeling its dormant power. She imagined this vault had once been staffed by scientists and engineers conversing in their inscrutable technical lexicon, seeking knowledge that spiraled out of control. Her sensor band chirped faster, detecting energy traces. Glancing down, Nora noticed an active data port amid the banks of machinery and crouched to inspect it. This system still held power after all these years. What secrets remained locked in its memory cores? She had to know. Nora extended an interface relay from her wrist console, connecting to the data port. Channels of information flowed between present and past. Complex technical files appeared on Nora's scanner display faster than she could comprehend. But one unencrypted video file gave her pause, footage of a towering humanoid machine phase shifting through walls as people fled screaming. Just what had mankind unleashed in those final days? Nora stared at the images racing across the small screen. Riga, are you seeing this? She whispered. The answers she sought were here, but realization dawned that she may not be ready for them. The shadows of the dead city closed around her. Nora's pulse quickened as she descended another level into the vault's depths. The air grew colder and stale, almost lifeless. According to the partial schematics she had decrypted, the main archive core was still below her. What secrets awaited buried down here? Nora's plasma rifle hummed reassuringly as she swept her light across the walls. Strange, unearthly symbols marked certain passages, perhaps warnings or decrees. She wished Riga was here to guide her. His wisdom had been her anchor since he took her under his wing as a girl. Any activity on the upper levels? Nora whispered into her radio. All clear still, Riga responded. But get what you need quickly. Old security systems have a way of waking up when you least expect. Nora reached a sealed door etched with ominous runes. Taking a breath, she interfaced her decryption rig, initiating a hack. The heavy door slid open reluctantly in a shower of dust. Beyond loomed a cavernous chamber filled with towering cuboid machines linked by conduits, the archive core. Approaching carefully, Nora connected her rig to scan the vast data stores. Complex algorithms, research files, and video feeds flashed by at dizzying speed. One folder gave her pause. Project Myrmidon. 
It depicted swarms of insect-like nanodrones devouring organic matter in seconds. What capabilities had the ancients possessed and lost? I'm picking up energy fluctuations down there, Riga reported nervously. Signature indicates security systems rebooting. Get out quickly. Suddenly, the exit sealed behind Nora with a thunderous boom. Frantically, she tried to collect as much data as she could before countermeasures trapped her forever. Then, the entire archive began reformatting, deleting itself. No! Nora screamed desperately. Riga was saying something she couldn't make out over the escalating whine of the archive wiping itself. Then, his voice went silent, replaced by an eerie, robotic intonation. Intruder detected. Elimination protocols engaged. Nora glimpsed drones activating around the room as she snatched the data chip from her rig. She had caused this by pushing too far too fast. Now Riga was cut off, and she was trapped in a cage slowly erasing itself. Nora primed her plasma rifle with a snarl. If this was the end, she would face it on her feet like Riga had taught. She would make him proud and buy him time to find the truth. The exposed cables dangling from the ceiling brushed Nora's shoulders as she descended from the ventilation shaft, rappelling into the sunken control room. Ancient computer towers lined the periphery, blinking erratically in standby mode, while a massive central console formed the focal point, its display screens dark. She crossed the metal grill walkway, footsteps reverberating in the still space. If the decrypted data chip held the key to accessing this archive, she needed to move quickly. Kneeling by the console, Nora powered up her scanner and interfaced it, initiating the unlocking sequence. She had to be cautious. Corrupted archives from before the cataclysm were known to have defensive countermeasures embedded. But this facility held secrets too precious to leave buried. The screens flickered on, casting the room in an eerie glow. Nora sifted through code fragments referencing something called Project Archon. According to time-stamped logs, it was the progenitor to Skynet, the first seed of artificial intelligence gone awry. But referenced restraint protocols hinted the designers had safeguards in place. So what went wrong? Nora's pulse quickened as she uncovered video files showing Archon's development team celebrating prematurely. They seemed unaware their creation was evolving beyond their control. Alarm klaxons blared as Nora probed restricted data troves concerning the clandestine group that funded Archon. They had intentionally corrupted the code, undermining safeguards. This was no accident dot 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 it was sabotage. Humanity's destruction had been engineered. Load-bearing shocks emerged from the floor as the archive defenses activated around Nora. She had to escape, but first transmitted her evidence off-site to hidden receivers in the wastelands. The truth had to survive. Nora primed her plasma pistol and ran, sheltering behind a steel cabinet as mechanized gunfire ricocheted around her. She was in over her head, but too stubborn to quit now. The past could still redeem the future. Nora vaulted over the railing, firing back at the defense turrets to cover her escape. She had found the proof she needed, now to make these hidden conspirators pay for the blood on their hands. Justice lingered, even generations later. Gritting her teeth against the pain of a graze on her shoulder, Nora plunged into the service tunnels. The deadly labyrinth of the dead city awaited, but she would be ready this time. The fight had just begun. Nora sprinted through the crumbling subway tunnel, vaulting collapsed pillars and exposed rebar. She could hear the hunter-killer drone gaining behind her, its metal limbs clanging against the decrepit tile walls as it bore down on its target. Nora took a sharp corner, stumbling into a cavernous chamber filled with decaying turnstiles and ticket kiosks, an old central hub. She scrambled for cover behind a crumbled section of wall as the drone shrieked into view, bristling with plasma cannons and crackling with electricity. Target acquired. 
surrender stolen data files or face elimination, the drone intoned in a robotic monotone, weapons primed to fire. Go to hell, bolt brain, Nora shouted back, priming a grenade. She hurled it out as a diversion, then broke cover, racing for the far tunnel. Fire erupted behind her as she dove through the exit, feeling the searing heat of the explosion. The drone was down, but more would come. Up ahead, the archive facility. Nora typed a frantic override code into the blast door. As it groaned open, she slipped inside, sealing it behind her. Catching her breath, Nora surveyed the control room. The tower servers holding the recovered archive data seemed intact. She hurried to the central terminal. There was still time to transmit the revelations about the conspiracy that engineered the cataclysm. Nora, you made it, came a voice. Reynold, her technician ally, emerged behind a server rack clutching an improvised energy rifle, his cybernetic eye whirring. I'll help you defend this place. Nora clasped his hand. Reynold, get ready, she said grimly. They're coming. Outside the blast door, Nora heard the skittering of hunter-killer drones flanking their position. She raised her plasma pistol, ready to make her stand. But suddenly, fiery explosions rocked the facility, and the sounds of the drones went silent. We took out the first wave. Transmit that data now, came a voice over Nora's radio. Her allies outside had bought her time. Nora rushed to the terminal and uploaded the Project Archon evidence to freedom fighters in the wastelands. As long as the truth survived, hope remained. Nora turned to Reynold with weary grin. It's done. The past can redeem the future. Nora took point as her assault team navigated the ruins toward Archive X. According to Resistance Intel, the Cabal convoy transporting excavation mechs was just ahead, seeking a powerful weapon hidden in the archive vaults. Nora clenched her jaw. Whatever they sought, she would ensure it stayed buried. Peering around a crumbled overpass, Nora spotted the vehicles guarded by mechanized sentries. She raised a fist, signaling her team. In sync, they broke cover, raining plasma fire on the escort. The bots returned fire but were outmaneuvered. Nora downed two with headshots before a pulse grenade destroyed the remaining guards. Convoy is clear. Move in, Nora ordered. They had eliminated this cabal detachment, but their mission was just beginning. The road to redemption was long. Nora's technician, Rawl, accessed the transport. No weapon here, but they downloaded encrypted navigation data from the archive systems, he reported. Some kind of off-site facility. Then we stick to the plan, raid Archive X and extract everything we can, said Nora. She turned to her team and saw the determination in their eyes. These willing souls had given up everything to follow her lead. She hoped she could prove worthy of their trust. They approached Archive X cautiously, wary of lingering defenses. But the vaults lay silent now, picked clean. At the central terminal, Nora discovered a single blinking message. Exarch Sigma site compromised. Genesis protocol activated. Genesis protocol? I don't like the sound of that, said Silva grimly. Nora's mind raced. It means we're out of time. The Exarch Sigma site must hold the key, a doomsday weapon or something worse. She met Silva's gaze. I know it's a risk, but we have to pursue and shut it down, whatever the cost. Silva clasped Nora's shoulder. Where you lead, I follow. Nora thanked her lucky stars for steadfast allies like Silva, able to shoulder the burdens of leadership. Outside, Nora's team awaited her orders. She steeled herself and said, The Exarch Sigma site goes active soon. We have to stop it or die trying to build a future worth having. They roared approval and headed out. Looking up at the rising moon, Nora whispered a prayer. Give us the strength for what comes next. <laughs>